Hello Space Station 13 gamers and welcome to another guide. I am a geneticist today as you can see I'm in Med Bay and um, I think it'd be a good time to uh, try to help people understand how genetics works and the, the little difficulties that are with this uh, role because um, the thing about this role is that it is very like on some time, some rounds, it could be really fun and uh, worthwhile to do genetics. And then some rounds, it's very frustrating and annoying. And I'll explain why uh, shortly. So let's just get right into it. Um, so you'll spawn in this chair right here. And uh, the first thing you want to do as a geneticist is uh, run up here and go to these cubes. And uh, you got these uh, little squares in these little boxes here. And uh, the reason why you have to get one of these little guys is because uh, they're going to be your uh, vi victim, I mean, uh, um, your subject <laughs> uh, for you today. Because um, you're going to have to be irradiating their uh, genome in order to get uh, specific powers and such. Okay, so I already have one in here, a little monkey here. And. Uh, I clicked on the console here, and this will be the thing you'll see when you uh, first start. You have the name. Um, that's actually an interesting name. I don't know why the monkey has an actual name. Usually they don't, but um. Okay, so let's go through this here. Um, modify UI. This is uh, how the person looks, or the monkey looks. Um, you don't really. I don't really want to go through this. This is just for appearances and will not do anything besides change like your hairstyle or your skin color and such like that. So the main focus of genetics is modify SE, this tab right here. And um, as you can see here, it is labeled from one to fifty-five. These are fifty-five blocks, and each one has three sub blocks. So uh, let's look down here. We got a radiate block. This will be the main thing you'll be using and uh, the radiation emitter settings. Um, I do not change these because um, I can get everything just by not even touching them. So, yeah, and you have lock and if you want to throw someone in lock and <laughs> mess up their genome or something. But, um, yeah, so uh, I'm, a, I'm actually on Paradise right now um, in the round, so there might be some interesting sounds or communications I'm not reading here in the bottom right so uh, yeah so the third tab here we got is transfer buffers this is uh, another main thing you'll be using here um, I don't use rejuvenators if it's like the help the subject uh, inside their heal but I have this metabot right here that I asked um, robotics to make for me transfer buffers is where you'll be um, drawing your genome out into injectors and testing them. So, uh, yeah, let's just start uh, with, the, with the first block. The first block you want to um, first block you want to work on here is block 55 because right now we have a monkey and what we want is a humanized version of that monkey because having a humanized monkey will be evident here in a few seconds. So let me irradiate the block and his health just went to 75. So let's see why he did that. Okay, because it didn't change. Oh, I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so it went down here and you see the 70 down here. There's this huge block of health here because I just irradiated it from a letter to a number. And uh, once you checked it, boom. A monkey, humanized version. So let me do that again with this guy here. As you can see here, they all have this letter here, D. Um, that's the thing with these little guys. is, um, And the thing with genetics is that there's two different types of things on genetics that you need to be aware of, letters and numbers. Um, 55 is a unique block because this is the one that reflects on whether it is an animal or a human. So uh, I'll show it again, I'm trying to irradiate this. Didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. And uh, we got four there. And it is now 
a uh, what are they called Treherans or something? But um, yeah. So once you get uh, you radiate your block to become a uh, human person, um, you don't have to worry about block fifty five anymore. So just ignore this one for the entire time. So we're sitting here right now, and uh, one thing, the first thing you want to do here after you get that done is to look through all these blocks. You do not want anything over seven for um, numbers-wise. Going through it all. Not seeing any numbers or letters, so this is perfect because the first thing you want you want to do before you even start injecting yourself with irradiated blocks is to make a thing called a clean uh, SE or your structural enzymes because you really want a clean slate or a, a, a fallback injector to inject yourself with if you're testing because if you don't have one and you just keep going through all these blocks and injecting yourself you're gonna get a whole bunch of terrible mutations and you'll probably die so the thing I always do as I go to transfer buffers here, click on subject SE, and change the label from structural enzymes to clean because it is a clean um, genome and there is no debilitating defects that will harm you if you inject this into yourself. So um, the only time we're going to be using this button right here, injector, is for clean because um, you do you do not really want to use an entire genome injector if you're um, testing a single block because you might get some very interesting side effects that aren't in that block. Okay, so how do you exactly mutate and get um, interesting mutations and powers from this? So, uh, let's just start at 54 here. The prime uh, target here you want to get is uh, you want letters. Numbers don't really have effect at all. Numbers have no effect unless they're above 8. So if you have an, a letter, I mean a, a number, sorry, in your block that's above 8 or 9, you will either have nothing happen or a very negative effect. And that is not good. So let's just start uh, mutating this. The, it's okay, so we get a D. That's good because um, the target you want to get is a um, letter of D, A, C. Oh, something's going on in the station. Because right now, um, the thing is about these blocks is that this is only activating this single block right here. D is. So if I try to mutate this one to another letter, A, that's good. So we have these two are activated on this single block. So I'm going to go for C. Okay, that's better. Dad, that's... <laughs> so, um, yeah. If you want to have the whole entire the whole entire um, mini block in the block, I guess you'd say, you're going to need to have letter D for the first one, letter A or above for the second one, and uh, letter C for the third one. And uh, it kind of gets a little confusing because if you have a B here and you have a D here, then it's it's all three are it's it's very interesting. So for this one, let's just let's just start with this one, okay? So we have D A D. So what I'm going to do now is do the same thing as I did before, subject S E. But I'm going to make a clean injector first because I want to have this injector ready to go just in case this is a um, a very bad mutation. So yeah, we're waiting here for the, the thing to charge. Mm -hmm. And uh, one uh, very interesting thing is sometimes if it, you, you're not able to mutate this uh, little mini block here, it just like doesn't change, like it's still D if I try to mutate it. There's a chance that it'll mutate a random mini block here, so it starts getting a little crazy um, the longer you uh, mutate. 
Okay, so um, it's ready to go. So I'm going to go to Options, go to Block Injector, scroll all the way down, and uh, click on 54. And um, it's in these little syringes here, so I'm just going to inject this into myself. And it uh, looks like we got a negative effect. Um, so yeah, I'm going to inject myself with the clean. And as you can see, um, it uh, counteracted the negative mutation, and I am perfectly fine now besides the small toxin damage I get. Because um, when you're injecting yourself with these, this is why I have the Metabot here, um, you get toxin damage and burn damage. So, uh, yeah, it's always good to have a medical bot here to heal you and to heal your subject, or you're going to start hurting pretty good here after like four or five. So I'm just going to clear this one because this one's trash. I'm going to make another injector for the next block. And uh, I don't need to cl uh, cancel this one out because uh, I don't, I'm not injecting the entire genome in me, so I'm just going to keep going. I'm trying to hope for a specific letter here. That's not good. Not worth it. It's randomly mutating a single block here. B is not good enough. I guess I can try a different block because this one isn't cooperating. But as you can see here, there's an F here. So we got a D here. Um, so the letters that are available to be mutated from is uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. And F is the most powerful of the letters because if if you mutate a um, your first little block here and it's an E or an F you don't have to mutate these other ones unless it's like an 8 here because I don't want to have an 8 here because it could you know <laughs> DDD <-d -d> because <laughs> it could uh, potentially uh, harm me so but this F here if this one was right here where this 3 is on 49 um, I wouldn't have to mutate these two because it activates the entire block, which is so much nicer. But uh, I tried mutating this one, so I got all three Ds here. I'm trying to get a um, another effect that isn't negative here to show you guys. So awesome. So block 50, which one was this? 54, 52. So block 52. I got a blue text here. Just about every single thing that gives you a blue text when you inject is a positive one. Um, so correlate here. Red is negative effects. Blue is positive effects. There's not really neutral effects. There's like um, negative effects that don't harm you, like clown or clown speak or uh, let's see here, uh, gray speak. I think there's a few others, but um, I'm going to pull up the wiki right here. This wiki is very helpful, so if you just follow along uh, some of these things here, um, you'll be able to just copy and paste the different types of powers. So, mine said the wounds start healing, so I got regenerate. This doubles your nutritional growth, so that's pretty nice. So, if I eat something, I heal a lot quicker. But you see these instabilities here, and uh, this is a very important part. So, once you start going through these blocks, and uh, you get a whole bunch of powerful, you know, powers, and uh, inject yourselves with them. You get a um, instability factor, so you can't just inject yourself with like 15 awesome powers without any negative consequences. Because uh, it used to be like that, and uh, I guess people did it too much that they put this cap in. So. So that one was 5. I think the max one's like 15 or something. Yeah, 15. And uh, so uh, 15, that's just for one power. So if you're putting like 4 or 5 powers in you, you're going to go like 30, 40. And if you go over 20 in stability, uh, you'll start taking burn damage. And it'll just get worse and worse the more powers you inject. So one way to counter this is to inject yourself with disabilities. Disabilities give a uh, negative instability, but um, 
you don't really want a whole bunch of these that are to just inject yourself with. Some of these are pretty good to inject because you can fix them and it'll still give you that instability factor like nearsightedness. If you ever get nearsightedness, um, you can just cure that and that's an instant ten, negative 10 so you can inject yourself with. But as you see here, uh, Swedish speaking is neutral so it doesn't change anything so that's you can just keep stacking those on and nothing happens so okay what else is there um, to talk about here um, so yeah big thing to remember watch your subjects health if it if your subject dies you can still mutate them and stuff but it's really good to keep them alive because you can sometimes see some physical powers Whoa. You can see some cool uh, physical effects if you genetic, mut genetically mutate them sometimes, like Hulk or heat resist or ice resist, stuff like that. So, yeah, let's see here. Anything else am I missing? Um, rejuvenators, yeah, I already talked about that. You put like a beaker of charcoal in and you can inject it. Um, yeah, keep your toxicity level down or else you might randomly mutate or have negative effects trying to get rid of that radiation in your body. Um, so I did block injectors, don't do injectors just for the clean one. Um, subject UI, that's the physical appearance. I guess I can show an example of that. Let me just change 31 here, see what it does. I don't think this is doing anything. I don't usually mess uh don't usually mess with the UIs. Oh well it doesn't matter if you just you change their physical appearances. But um yeah, so you have these discs here on this table that everyone seems to forget about. Um these are cloning data discs. You can put this in the computer and uh let's say that I, this one's healing wounds. So I'll just label it, and the, the block I got it from so I don't forget, 52. Because once you start getting a whole bunch of these discs, and you try to go through them, you'll get very confused on which one it was if you don't write it down, the block. So down here it says save disc, and I'll do that. And then, because uh, you only get three slots here, so it's always good to start saving um, your disc and clearing them so you can just load it onto there next time you want to start combining them and stuff so yeah I'm trying to think of uh, anything else I missed uh, so we talked about letters numbers don't let your numbers go over eight or nine um, just f keep going either f if you got a second guy here there was a second guy here but he ran off like four minutes in probably the cultists that they're worrying about on the station but um so they got a uh, yeah, just pick either bottom or top. You can decide with the other Genesis. Uh, you can start from one down and go down, or you can start from 54 and up. And uh, you guys can just start combining them if you find anything cool. Yep, and uh, so genetics is a really interesting role if you like the randomness of it, because every round, it's random. So uh, all these blocks will be changed next round. And uh, I think that's just about it. Um, Yes, uh, have the wiki open to uh, copy and paste what powers and effects you get. It's a really helpful I idea. Um, and if I missed anything, uh, please let me know or comment below if you have any other questions and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something, hopefully.